This is session three, Living in the Spirit. As I began to write this session, I was thinking of what I was going to write, I had something in mind, but a hymn kept coming to mind and it's a hymn that I wouldn't have sung since I was a little girl. So I'm talking about 70 years ago. And I began to puzzle, why would God be putting this hymn on my mind? The hymn is, God is always near me, hearing what I say, knowing all my thoughts and deeds, all my work and play. God is always near me in the darkest night. He can see me just the same as by midday light. God is always near me, though so young and small, not a word or thought or deed, but God knows it all. And it didn't fit with what I was planning to say. And then I thought, well, I've just been talking about these strange coincidences in the last session. What is he trying to say to me in this one? And it came home to me. Look, he's saying, I am closer to you than you can ever imagine. There's nothing about us that God does not know. Every single detail. So if we're seeking to live in obedience to God and we want to do things in his power and not our own, we need to really realise he's right there with us in every single detail, in the little things. Because there's a tendency for us to think that to live by God's spirit, we've got to find all the big things that he wants of us. Like, you know, we might have to go and confront Pharaoh. But God asks us to do lots of ordinary and little things. And when he knows that we're faithful in the little things, then he might start asking us to do the bigger things. I remember reading the story of a lady who really wanted to know what God wanted of her in her life. And so she set aside a large period of time that she could go somewhere quiet and just spend that time with God. But before she got started, her cat went and did a poo in one of the bedrooms. She wasn't very happy about that. But, well, that can wait because she had more important things to do. She was going to spend time with God. So she shut herself away. She began praising God. And then she began asking God to speak to her. But he did. He said, go and clean up the cat poo. One of the questions she was asking was, would God use the word poo? But then she realized that absolutely nothing was too little or unimportant to God. And we tend to think that God must be so busy with the wars that are going on, with the um, starvation and hunger, with just everything that's going on in the world at the moment, that he couldn't possibly care about the little things. But he does. There is nothing, nothing too small, nothing too insignificant that God does not care about. After it, say, it says in the Bible, not one sparrow should fall that he doesn't know about. So apart from being alert to coincidences, being disciplined in keeping track of what he's been saying to us, we need to also recognise that he is involved in every little detail. And if we remember this, then we are going to be much more alert to what he's saying to us daily rather than waiting for him to say some overwhelming, earth-shattering thing. If we want to grow an oak tree, we plant an acorn. And if we tend the acorn, it grows into the oak tree. And it's often like that with God. He plants an acorn in us and asks us to tend it so that it will grow into the oak tree. Because me.